Hi guys, I'm Eduardo Dinas, teacher 2 of Valenzuela National High School, your art teacher. Southeast Asia Hope through five days. One, attentiveness. Two, avoid distractions. Three, answer the activity. Four, ask questions. And five, attendance will be checked. Southeast Asia, classify the picture which country they are belong. Number one, Mool Ul. Number two, Lion Fountain. Number three, Wow Kai. Number four, Golden Red Silk. Number five, Why I'm Cooling. Number six, Song Kong. Let us answer. Number one, we have Philippines. Two, Singapore. Three, Malaysia. Four, Vietnam. Five, Indonesia. And six, we have Indonesia, Brunei, Malaysia, Singapore, Southern Philippines, and Southern Thailand. So let us have a pen and paper test. We're able to get the correct answer. Test and answer it in two minutes. Timer starts now. Once again, the question is, were you able to name the country of its picture correctly? And how? Good job guys! Did you finish your work? This will be your remarks. Do you want to learn new things? We have the beautiful arts and crafts of Southeast Asia. And also the materials you can use for artworks. And the similarities of Philippine artworks with our neighbor countries. Our lessons. We have fabric and design the arts and crafts, and also the sculpture. Archipelagic Southeast Asia encompasses the countries of Philippines, Timor-Leste, Indonesia, Brunei, Malaysia, and Singapore. Fabric and design of Thailand. Thai silk is produced from the cocoons of Thai silkworms it is mainly produced in Korhat, the center of the silk industry in Thailand, a product of a unique manufacturing process and bearing unique patterns and colors, imitating clothing details on ancient stone sculptures. Laos Woman in Laos weaves all the sin and wear it throughout her lifetime. Vietnam Golden thread silks were born in Vietnam. Fabrics originated from Hadong, 
the center of weaving and sericulture, silkworm production, and old jackward looms used for weaving patterns. Some popular Vietnamese fabric. 1. Shantung Tapeta, a slightly thinner silk used for bridal gown. 2. Bengalin weave a fabric using pine yarns. and 3. Ebony Satin, a naturally dyed silk using ebony pads. Cambodia There are two main types of Cambodian weaving. We have the ikat technique patterns. These are diverse and varied by region. Common motifs include lattice, stars, and spots. An even twill produced by weaving three threads so that the color of one thread dominates on one side of the fabric. Batik is an Indonesian Malay word, titik, which means point, dot, or drop. This picture is an example of hand-painted technique. The artist uses the canting, a small copper container called pewter, and comes in different sizes. The other type of the batik production is through black printed. It is done by welding together strips of metal to form a metal block. The metal block is then dipped into molten wax and pressed against the fabric in order to make a pattern. Indonesia's naturalistic motifs like leaves, flowers, and birds have been utilized to create designs. In Malaysia, the cradle where batik first flourish, songket, is a handwoven silk or cotton and intricately patterned. In Singapore, batik has been recorded since the 12th century but has receded in popularity through the years. Nowadays, Batik is featured as the uniform of flight attendants of Singapore, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Brunei Brunei's traditional textile is also called batik, but it is uniquely different from Indonesia, Malaysia, and Singapore. Its design have their national flower, Simpur, and Sumboy Sumboy. The techniques used in traditional designs are airbrushing, cracking, bubble, rainbow, sprinkle, geometry, and marble. Brunei Sultan Hassan al-Bolkiya with Russian President Vladimir Putin are wearing batik during APEC or Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation. FYI, do you know that the word Darussalam means abode of peace, meaning Brunei is a peaceful country? Hi guys! Now, let us have the arts and crafts of Southeast Asia. Thailand, flying lanterns or wish lanterns are used during the Loy Kratong festival popular on the beaches of Phuket, held every 12th full moon of November. The brightest celebration held at Chiang Mai and a belief for worship and forgiveness to the goddess of river Ganga. Flying lanterns are made out of rice paper with a bamboo frame which contain a fuel cell or small candle. When the fuel cell is lit, the flame hits the air inside the lantern causing the lantern to rise. Cambodia and Laos, handicrafts are part of their traditional culture and their livelihood as they produce textiles, baskets, jars, pottery, and other tools. They make paper over 700 years using the bark of sa or mulberry tree. Vietnam, silk paintings typically showcase the countryside, landscapes, pagodas, historical events, or scenes of daily life. Vietnamese silk painting is one of the most popular forms of art in Vietnam. During the 19th and 20th centuries, French influence was absorbed into Vietnamese art and modern use of color, began to differentiate silk paintings from Chinese and Japanese.
materials used paintbrush textile paint satin cloth marker and a wooden frame Indonesia shadow puppetry of Indonesia wayang kulit wayang in modern Indonesian language means show or purple kulit means skin a reference to the leather material that the figures are carved out others say that wayang is also attributed to the Indonesian word bayang which means shadow puppet shadow play performed around the Indo-Malayan archipelago tracing its origin to India it is derived from a Japanese Hindu Buddhist tradition where handcrafted leather puppets depict stories of the gods. A traditional gamelan orchestra would accompany the storytelling. The puppets come in all sizes ranging from 25 to 75 cm. The best puppets are made from the hide of goat and young female water buffalo parchment and the curing can take up to 10 years then it is mounted on bamboo sticks Malaysia Wow kite is a uniquely designed Malaysian kite called Wow. Its wings are similar to an Arabic letter pronounced Wow. This kite making tradition comes naturally to Malaysian people, especially in the eastern states of the Malayan Peninsula. Farmers use kites as scarecrows in the fields and as a means to lull children to sleep so they could work with a little interruption. Now, kite flying has become a popular sport not just in Malaysia but also internationally. Malaysia has been celebrating kite festival annually like the Pasir Gudang International Kite Festival. Brunei The songkok, also called pesi or kopia, is a cap widely worn in Indonesia, Brunei, Malaysia, Singapore, the southern Philippines, and the southern Thailand. Mostly among Muslim males in formal gatherings such as wedding, peace, funerals, or festive occasions such as the Muslim Edil Pitir and Edil Adha. The star is a piece of cloth tied around the head. Kopia or songkok a type of cup made from velvet. Tankolok or serban, which resembles a turban and is a typical headdress in the Middle East. These are the commonly headgears of Brunei Darussalam. And now, let us have an overview about the sculpture of Southeast Asia. Cambodia, the Angkor Wat Temple. You can find a stone carvings of the Khmer Nation. Thailand, in their Wat Po Temple, you can see the relaxed figures of Buddha or the temple of the reclining Buddha materials used we have wood stone ivory clay bronze and also the mother of pearl Vietnam the Dong Noi cave has 10,000 years old carvings the Dong Son culture is popular for their sculpted handles in the shape of men's elephants, toads, and tortoise. This is the Jerai statue. It serves as the tomb guardian of spirit. Indonesia, the Hindu Buddhist era. Here is the Borobudur temple. 
you can find 100 stone Buddha and also the Japar wood carvings. Malaysia we have the relief carvings that you can see in the doors windows and furniture Singapore popular in the merlion or the lion fountain which is the magical fish creature Brunei Darussalam sculpture signifying the heritage of metal work and also the friendship to the world of ASEAN our art activity number one batik making materials canvas or old cotton fabric paint brushes plastic wrap or plastic lace mat Elmer's washable blue white or blue paint or acrylic paint we have procedures to follow our rubric for excellent good parent poor should follow the directions correctly students output is very creative and tidy pattern of Southeast Asian culture is well defined reminders if materials are available just follow this link for guidelines and submit your artwork activity number one to your art teacher before the end of first quarter answer the crossword Identify what is being described in the sentence. Are you ready? It is an art for creating the design usually on cloth by applying wax then dyeing it. This is a method of printing woven fabric of Cambodia. It is a mythical creature with the head of a lion and the body of a fish. This is a simple elegant ankle length skirt worn by Lao woman. This is a small hot air balloon made of paper. Congratulations, you get a perfect score. These are the correct answers. For your post assessment, your art teacher will give you directions and guidelines where to answer. And we also have a report and research. Good day. Once again, I'm Eduardo A. Binas, teacher 2 of Banzuela National High School. Have a good day.